Welcome back. The Lloyd Minster Red Dogs have been minor football royalty in recent years, capturing league titles for the past three seasons while not losing a game since 2012. This afternoon, they took on the 2-0 Parkland Predators, who had plans of snapping the Red Dogs' streak. Opening quarter, Red Dogs get on the board first, though. Tommy Yanchuk airs it out for Garrett Krizanowski, 7-0 for Lloyd Minster. But the Predators would go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the big dogs this afternoon. After holding them to a two-and-out, Predators returner Logan Sadowski takes the punt, finds a seam. Look at this. He turns on the Jets. He scampers 96 yards all the way to pay dirt. And this makes it a tie game. We're at 7-7. Now, before the end of the first, Red Dogs answer back as Quinn McPherson bulldozes his way to the end zone. 14-7 Red Dogs to the second quarter. The game is tied at 14. Zianchuk back to pass, throws one on a rope to Krizanowski for his second of the game, 21-14. Next series, Sadowski takes the handoff, avoids a tackler to punch in. Another major, Red Dogs would add a late field goal to go up 24-21 at the half. Third quarter. The Predators would take their first lead of the game. Nicholas Schreier hockey. He makes the grab 28-24 Parkland. The weather would wreak havoc, and we're going to give a shout out to Moses Waldu who shot this game. Ensuing kickoff, Red Dogs misplay it, and it's recovered by the Predators. Lloyd Minster could not get anything going as the Preds would score 19 unanswered points. 40-24 was the final score. I figured it was going to be a shootout. Uh, I figured whichever team had the ball last would probably have a good chance of winning. And then, unfortunately, that weather hit in the second half and uh, took away our passing game completely almost. We tried to say we weren't thinking about that winning streak, but in the back of our minds, it was been there. So uh, we got that out of the way. Uh, I told the boys, put this in the memory bank, be ready, because we're probably going to see these guys again. I hope we do see these guys again. Are you getting golf fever from all this Masters action? Well, if you are, you're in luck because yesterday the Lloyd Minster Golf and Curling Club opened up its driving range for the season. Two days ago it was snowy here and uh, we needed a little positive outlook for the golf season. So it was nice, nice weather the last couple days. So we got the range going. Golf pros never make deals with weather gods. Usually we always, always lose. I'm pretty excited. It's uh, it's early in the year. It's just nice to get out and hit a few balls and kind of loosen up for the season that's coming up pretty soon. Well, hopefully the weather stays like this. The range is open all weekend from 9 till 5, and those hours will stay the same until the course opens. Now, don't go reaching for your phone. The lines have been ringing off the hook at the pro shop, and they aren't opening the course yet. But they anticipate that will be happening soon. And when it does eventually open, regulars can expect to see some changes. We're applying uh, State Prime GPS to our golf carts, which is a big, uh, big bring in for our facility. It tells you where you are from the green and where you're at in the hole. It's just good for us to know where everybody is on the course and just overall enjoyment of the game is going to help out. We're excited to get, get going. I mean, it's we're everybody, we're excited just like everybody else. Now to those golfing highlights I promised you earlier, the Lynx at Augusta. It was moving day at the Masters. And this guy hiring the best trucking company, one Phil Mickelson. Lefty surges up the leaderboard. He's at 11 under through three rounds. Now, Justin Rose is one stroke better. Charlie Hoffman still in the mix, but everyone still in the dust of super sophomore. Jordan Spieth, the 21-year-old, year old steals the lead. Now, despite cursing at every other shot, potty mouth Tiger Woods is tied for six at minus six. Who is he tied with? the world's number one ranked player and his commercial buddy, Rory McIlroy. In the NHL, we're still a few days out, but it already feels like the playoffs for a lot of teams, especially the Ottawa Senators. With a win this afternoon against the Philadelphia Flyers, they could punch their ticket to the postseason. First period, Mark Stone comes out swinging. Ottawa, they're up 1-0. Look at Clark MacArthur, he just steals the puck from netminder Steve Mason. Now second period, Flyers get on the board and they tie things up. Matt Reed with his eighth of the year and things tense in Philly. John Gabriel Pagot gets into double digits, his 10th of the season, putting the Sens up 2-1. So to the third we go. Now Mark Stone, he steals the puck and he steals the show in this game. His second for the rookie and Check out the 11,000 fans in Ottawa going bonkers with this win. 
The Sens clinch a playoff spot. You just get goosebump watching this. It's hard to believe just over a month ago they were headed for a spot in the draft lottery, but now they're 23-4-4 four and four in their last 31 games of the season. Andrew the Hamburglar Hammond, of course, gets the win. And apparently the owner of six McDonald's locations in the Ottawa area arranged for Hammond to have a card that gives him free McDonald's food for life. Isn't that amazing? That's all the time we have for sports, but Jeremy has your weather up next.